This is a quick video to show you how to deploy Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2. The context of the video is related to the Power Pop Health framework that I've put together to help users pull healthcare data into both Azure and Power BI. Uh, however, uh, the deployment methodology uh, could be used for any Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2. So here on my homepage in Azure, if I go to create a resource, search for storage, and select storage account. Go ahead and hit create. Then you can select your subscription that you want to deploy the uh, data lake to. For this demo, I'll create a new resource group. Call it video test delete. And this name is the name that you'll be adding to some of the scripts if you're deploying the Power Pop Health framework. The instructions are in the GitHub site. Then you select the Azure region that you want to deploy it to. I'm going to leave it in standard performance. Let's review and create. Validation passed. Go ahead and hit create. And now you can see the deployment is in progress. Once the deployment is succeeded, you can go to the resource. If I go back to my available resource groups, you'll now see I have video test delete as an option. And I also have a storage account with the same name, which is my Data Lake V2. Then at this point, if you'd like to continue deploying the Power Pop Health framework, you can add a container. All of the scripts in the GitHub site reference a container named Power Pop Health. And we'll go ahead and hit create. And at this point, you have a container within your Data Lake V2 that you can use with these scripts inside of PowerPop Health.